as soon as foot goes up or as soon as hands go up, craving the rhythm, they go. So he starts hands, foot follows. Now, as the foot descends, hands going to separate from the glove. Now, as soon as the body understands this foot is getting close to touching down, this hand is going to get into its position. Whoop. But not drastically before and not drastically late. It's going to get into the position in which it knows that it can be the most powerful possible. And I believe, going back to my original theory, is we, we do this by giving the body, giving the brain a initial move that influences or that, that, that breeds rhythm, that breeds the, the timing of the entire system. So these guys go, they go down, that guy goes down, that guy goes up, and now you're in that position. And I know what you're saying in terms of like, you know, sometimes it is difficult because you can get into the, 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 the fine line of like, well, dude, you're, that's too much movement, right? Like some guys do fight an uphill battle because there's so much movement with their hands. Like the room for air is, is huge because it's moving through space so much. But in reality, like starting here, going up to his right shoulder, now we just go down. So he started essentially right here, and that's where he's separating his hands. So he's separating his hands in the same spot, but how he gets there in this rhythmic movement is, is the difference. Because what a lot of guys have, kind of fall into is like the stagnantation, right? Where like maybe they don't have any rhythm, and then like your body kind of is, is fighting the sensation of, all right, when do we separate? All right. What do we like? How do we how do we separate in such a way that is the most optimal timing, right? 